And since we are discussing fights, how can we not discuss the latest fight brewing in Asia? The fight between Iran and Pakistan. The two countries have been engaged in an intense face-off for quite some time now. Over the weekend came a new flashpoint in their ongoing brawl. Nine Pakistani workers were gunned down in Iran and at least three others were injured. The incident unfolded in Saravan, a city located in the Sistan, Balochistan province. The workers in question were killed when unidentified attackers opened indiscriminate fire on them on Saturday. According to eyewitnesses, the attack unfolded inside a house in the Sirkan neighborhood of the Sistan, Balochistan province. Back in Pakistan, the families of the victims are mourning their loss. They are asking the Pakistani government to repatriate the bodies and hand them over to the relatives. Our relatives worked as laborers and have been living in Iran city of Saravan for the last 8-10 years. My other nephew who was injured in the firing told me on the phone that around 3 a.m. or 3.30 a.m. three terrorists came and asked them to get up and wanted to know who among them were Pakistanis. They opened fire and killed nine of them. We ask that the Pakistani government repatriate the bodies and hand them over to the relatives. Those injured should also be brought to their relatives so that their wounds can heal. So who was behind the attack? Well, so far, no group or individual has claimed responsibility, but authorities suspect the role of Baloch separatists. And that is because the deadly attack follows tensions in the porous border region of the province. Also, Sistan Balochistan is one of the few mainly Sunni Muslim provinces in the Shiite-dominated Iran. It has seen persistent unrest involving cross-border drug smuggling gangs and rebels from the Balochi ethnic minority. What adds to the speculation is the recent strike and the number of recent strikes. You see, on the 18th of January, Pakistan launched airstrikes on militant targets in Iran. The strikes unfolded two days after Iran launched similar strikes on its territory. The target in both the cases being Baloch militant groups. So it is being perceived that the same groups could be behind the killing of the Pakistani workers. Meanwhile, Pakistan's Foreign Affairs Ministry has issued a statement. It says, and I'm quoting, it is a horrifying and despicable incident and we condemn it unequivocally. We are in touch with Iranian authorities and have underscored the need to immediately investigate the incident and hold to account those involved in this heinous crime. We are fully seized of this grave matter and are taking all necessary measures in this regard. The embassy will do its best to repatriate dead bodies at the earliest. Such cowardly attacks cannot deter Pakistan from its determination to fight terrorism. Now, isn't that a bit rich coming from Pakistan? Talking about its determination to fight terrorism? I mean, the country itself has promoted terror for decades now. For Islamabad, Baloch separatists are terrorists. But those carrying out attacks along India's borders are seemingly not. It is this hypocrisy which seems to have landed Pakistan in this precarious situation. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.